Meet the Balloon Chipper, the forgotten tower that was left behind in BTD Battles 1. Now, I'm not saying people completely just forgot this tower existed, it just was left in this game, not added into BTD 6, not added into Battles 2. So we're gonna show it some love for today's video, and we're gonna be using it in Bonanza. So let's see if we can win with it. And we got the map Park, all right? So not the greatest map for Bonanza, but honestly, this map is still a ton of fun. And of course, with today's video, we've gotta use the Balloon Chipper within our strategy farms because it's bonanza super monkey because it's bonanza and then let's see what we get as our fourth dart we don't want that sub okay not gonna help us but we will make things work out okay so if you guys did not see my first battles one video that i did uh, my bonanza video i was greeting out of my absolute freaking mind in that video and i plan to do the same exact thing with today's video okay because why not i just want as much money as possible and i'm not going to set down a single tower why is this guy though using the ace yeah. you've got to use the banana farms my friend in bonanza like come on dude literally the word banana is in bonanza you should just know that you know but hey maybe he should start off with a palm power tower and then after he plans on setting down his first banana farm okay but at the start of round three i'm going to use a fertile soil i'm going to be intentionally leaking these labs here okay yes he is farming okay i'm sorry for what i said okay that that was very very rude of me to assume that you were not going to be farming you are in fact you're a good player let's use the fertile soil here on round three, all right, can I set down another farm up here? I can't. Okay, unfortunate stuff, but let's get a banana farmer then going. I'm going to go for a Republic, I guess, because I didn't have time to go for anything else. See, like this map, you're kind of limited to the amount of farms you can have, uh, but still we can make things work out, in my opinion. Let's continue on going for some more plantations, though. And now, as you guys can see, we're down to 45 lives. And after we leak all these greens and blues right here, we'll be at 10. See, I've leaked down so many times that I've literally just remembered, okay? So after these reds get pretty close, we're going to have to use a lightning power here in a second. So let's do that. Is he face? Yeah. He's face balling me because of that. How freaking rude. Let's use another fertile soil here. That uh, Wow. I am just in utter disbelief. Let's sell all of these and go for our first facility over here. We're going to be using another lightning power here in a second. So let's just do that now. Perfection. We want to go for the valuable bananas here on our banana farm as well. So let's immediately go for that. And let's continue on farming. What popping power tower do we want to put down, by the way? I don't really know, like, uh, we could put down a super monkey, but that's obviously a bit of an expensive tower, so I kind of want to refrain from doing that, and let's use our last fertile soil here. We could use the monkey sub. We could. Oh my god, this is so weird. Okay, so yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. It is better than nothing, and this should be able to handle the AI balloons pretty easily for us. So what I'm going to do here, by the way, as well, is go for um, five facilities, I think. I think that's going to be the play. And then after that, we're going to switch out all the facilities for BIAs. BIAs are going to be much better for us in the long run, in my opinion, okay? Because they not only give you money and collect money within themselves, but they increase your eco, okay? So that's why we're going to do that. This guy, he's got the right idea, right? He's spamming the banana plantations, but he's got to upgrade those banana plantations a bit more, just like how we are currently. But now we got the five facilities, okay? So like I said, let's start going for those BIAs. Oh, wait, no, now he's rushing us. Now he's rushing us. That is no bueno. So let's just go for a quick sun god, easy claps. I was trying to get the pixel perfect placements, boys, okay? So I I'm sorry for the delay. I don't even have anything in the middle of the map right here. Oh my God, I have no camp detection yikes okay we're gonna leak that camo balloon then i'm gonna go for the reactor right here to decamo for us <laughs> that could have ended very very badly for us so unfortunately that looks like about the maximum amount of farms that we can go for is he sending me camo ceramics he is. bro how dare you how dare you try to do that let's go for a balloon chipper just because why not all right that's gonna help us out super back Oh, yeah, I missed the balloon chipper, man. I mean, we're really trying to focus on this thing with today's video, so might as well just start spamming those. Okay, wait, I gotta collect the 20k balance out of all of these BIAs as well. Yeah, dude, I don't think this is gonna be the right map for this. Like, we're gonna have enough money, I think at least, but at the same time, we won't, okay? So the good thing is, I don't wanna fill up the entire map with temples. I wanna go for a lot of chippers, okay? So I think I'm gonna try to prioritize going for a lot of chippers right now. Later. 
All right, so what my current idea is, is to fill up the outer ring of our side with uh, Tech Terrors, and then the middle, uh, the left side is going to be filled up with the, I think, left. Yeah, cross by the super wide funnel. So four, two balloon trippers. And then the right side will be filled up with super vax. Now, I don't know if we want to go for too many of those. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. Left side, super wide funnel. Right side, freaking super vac. It's going to be litty two hours later all right so it's round 41 finally i have nearly the entire map filled up outer ring with tech terrors left side of the chippers on um, the four twos and the right side two four super backs okay so oh also i filled up the water with some first strikes so literally almost every single spot filled up and we still have 1.4 million dollars so i am literally just gonna wait for this guy to rush us he does have sniper with the strategy guys he probably probably has a better strategy than this but um we're still gonna try our best okay because we cannot give up we have the balloon chipper boys we can't lose with the balloon chipper and here comes the round 43 z omg as well so let's see how the tech terrors do looks like it's pretty bad so far but look at his side as well he's taking quite some time to pop it a lot of green beams okay and once we pop off that layer, like yeah look at that chipper literally disintegrated everything underneath instantly that is insane and that is also without us using a single chipper ability or anything crazy like that so i think we're in good standings right now it is now around 50 guys i don't think there's any more room on the map for any more towers for me and look at the zomg just slowly but surely pushing through it's because we don't have any temples guys but again once we pop off the zomg lair we're absolutely chilling i do have the damage boost too and i should have went with the big balloon buster i don't know actually i didn't even realize that it had the damage boost so shame on me i guess but i'm probably gonna have to rush this guy here and we're gonna just have to hope and pray that he ends up countering because i don't know how much longer it's gonna take me to survive against the ai like yeah i could use these abilities but i don't want to have to rely on those you know what i mean i just want to be able to defend against the ai period so let's start rushing big daddy d with constant zomgs here on round 51 all right park is not that long of a map so hopefully he ends up countering us as well here in a second um because i would like to defend against a potential all-out rush as well okay look at the zomg okay popped it off was able to defend look at all the zomgs on his side range boost oh and he is going to start rushing us all right so we might as well just use our first damage boost e freaking immediately let's use all of our first strikes boom 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 oh my god yes and the chippers the chippers they're doing freaking work i'm using all of the tech terror abilities as well and it looks like oh my god the blue chipper like not it can't suck up zomgs but it does work against everything underneath and take a look at his side by the way it looks like we are doing much much better than him my next tower boost is about to come back as well so i'm gonna use another damage boost but big daddy is gonna end up going down to that rush holy crap literally the chipper blew my expectations out of the water right there let me know what you guys thought about the forgotten tower the great almighty balloon chipper and if you guys haven't already make sure to check out this video where this forgotten tower can send zomgs on round seven that is literally not clickbait the cobra is so good that you can send zomgs that early if you have yet to check this video out go make sure to watch it right now it's an absolute banger you won't regret it